New tonight, city police say two people have been arrested in connection with a violent carjacking in Highland Town, where a Baltimore mother was shot in the head. WJZ is live at city police headquarters. George Solis speaks with the victim and has more on what police are saying about the arrests. George? Well, Mary, it's been about three weeks since Stephanie Woodyard was brutally attacked. Police now saying that the suspects that shot and stole from her have been arrested in South Carolina. Woodyard eager to see justice served. This is what Stephanie Woodyard looked like hours after being shot in the face nearly three weeks ago. The carjacking leading up to it and the two suspects involved caught on video. They meant to kill me. I'm still here. Woodyard talking to WJZ Monday after finding out the two individuals police say were responsible for the violence were arrested in South Carolina on May 9th. Still wounded physically and emotionally from the ordeal. She's now waiting for the two suspects to be extradited back to Maryland. <laughs> I wanted to break down and cry. It was one of those moments where... I just wanted to jump up, didn't know whether to cry, whether to be excited. Um, it was almost like I wanted to hit my knees, but very overwhelming. The violent carjacking and shooting playing out early in the morning on April 22nd. Woodyard had just left working bartending at a restaurant off South Conkling Street in Highland Town. She described the encounter then from her hospital bed. And they came from like literally right around the other side of the car and brandished a gun. So I was like, you got to be kidding me. And he's like, no, 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 this is what's going to happen. You're going to give me everything. After biting the woman on the hand and being shot, she took off unaware that she'd ever see her children again, a realization that hit particularly hard over the holiday weekend. This Mother Day that just passed was phenomenal. It was um, almost next to the greatest day of giving birth to my children because I was able to celebrate this Mother's Day with my family once more instead of them putting me into a ground. Police have not released the names of the two suspects. Now, as far as how she's doing now, Woodyard says she still suffers from the occasional hearing loss. Now, she has set up a GoFundMe page to help with those mounting medical costs. We do have a link to that website on our website, WJZ.com. Live outside Baltimore City Police Headquarters tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. Stephanie is a strong woman, George. Thank you. It's not known yet when the two suspects will be extradited back to Maryland.